God, they're really trying to make this guy a thing, aren't they? Miles Morales. It's new Spider-Man. Sure, whatever. Uh, this is fascinating. Amy Pascal, notorious. Uh, well, looks like a cracker, actually, to be fair, but never mind. Uh, basically, they're really pushing Miles Morales as the Spider-Man moving forwards. And I do wonder if there will be an element of this which will take over from Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Because basically... Spider-Man producer Amy Pascal has said that they're going to do a live-action Miles Morales movie. And also an animated Spider-Woman film as well. It's all happening, she says. So, this is one of those movies, the uh, Across the Spider-Verse. So, Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, the, the first film, you know, did well. Not huge numbers, actually. If you go back, like, the way people talk about it, you think this movie absolutely dominated the box office. It actually didn't. Um, it did well enough, obviously, to warrant a sequel, but it wasn't, like, huge numbers. I don't even think it broke 500 million. But it did well because of the budget. But I do wonder if they're over-egging their product here. You know, and really trying to push this dude, uh, Miles Morales. Because then they, they already teased Miles Morales, um... In one of the Spider-Man films anyway. Didn't they? Pretty certain they did. So interesting. Uh, this is of course their next big push. Uh, and again I just wonder if they will take over from Tom Holland. And whether they'll get some pushback from it. Or whether even Marvel agrees. Who knows. It's all over the place. It, this is just madness. So let's take a look at this. So as Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse finally hits theatres this weekend. There's a lot of hype behind this isn't there? There's like a lot of hype. I do wonder whether, um, oh my god, there's a third, beyond the Spider-Verse, there's already a third one. Wow. Anyway, I do wonder if that hype will, will translate. I do wonder, I do wonder. So the producers behind the trilogy have their attention set on the third installment. Next year's Beyond the Spider-Verse. At least they're pumping it out, at least we won't have to wait that long. However, that's not the only web-slinging project that's on their minds. So producer, notorious crackhead Amy Pascal, says a Spider-Woman and live-action Miles Morales movie are in the works. You'll see all of it, she told me Tuesday, not me, the writer of this article, at the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse premiere in Los Angeles. It's all happening. Hmm. Interesting. Now, producer Avi Arad, t fucking Avi Arad, I hate that guy. He's, he's the reason why we've had like real bad products, by the way. Uh, so he teased that moviegoers will see a Spider-Woman movie sooner than you expect. I can't imagine it's that much. I mean, I think we all expect it to come out pretty soon, to be fair, now. Because, I mean, you're trying to jump on this and capitalise this stuff. I cannot tell you yet, but it's coming, he said. So Pascal also said a fourth Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and Zendaya is still in the works. But the writer's strike has paused development. Are we going to make another movie? Of course we are, she said. We're in the process. But the writer's strike, nobody's working during the strike. That's what a strike is, you dunce. We're all being supporters. Are you? And whenever they get themselves together, we'll get started. Whenever they get themselves together, that's hilarious. We're, we're, we're supporting the strike, you know. Get yourself together. <laughs> Sony boss Tom Rothman uh, was much more cagey about the future. So he clearly, uh, he clearly didn't pass that note on to uh, Ava Pascal or Avi Arad, did he? <laughs> Guys, don't say anything. Because apparently he said, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. For goodness sake. <sighs> For goodness sake. So Haley Steinfeld uh, is Gwen Stacy. And you got uh, Shamik Moore as Miles Morales. So apparently it sounds like Ste Steinfeld is up for a standalone Spider-Woman movie. This is like my dream job. Sign me up over and over again, she said about doing voice work. I've got to be comfortable. And it's a dream to be in a space that feels so comfortable, but also creative and free and just exciting to be a part of. Cool. Sure, fine, whatever. There's like, there's three directors on this movie, by the way. So it's directed by Joaquim Dos Santos, Justin K. Thompson, and Kemp Powers. Three people. Talk about, you know... Lots of cooks in the kitchen. Christ alive. Just, yeah, that's baffling to me. Anyway, so I digress. 
Uh, Avi Arad can, you know, go in a corner and never come back out again, uh, along with Amy Pascal as well. But, but, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. A, hmm, 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 hmm. What do we think about this? What do we think about this? A uh, Spider Woman animated movie? Fine. 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 Like, I'd be fine with that. I like Hayley Steinfeld. Uh, she wowed me uh, in True Grit, if I remember rightly. Uh, I think she's really, really good, actually. Uh, now, in terms of this sort of live action Miles Morales movie, is this them? Is this Sony trying to get away from Tom Holland? Not, not specifically Tom Holland. You know, don't misconstrue. But are they trying to get away from Tom Holland and, of course, the uh, Marvel deal and sort of separate themselves a little bit more so they can accrue more money? There is the potential there. I mean, these are the producers that are saying this. Amy Pascal and Avi Arad. These are the producers. These are the money makers and also the money profiteers. They will be profiting off of all of this. So I do wonder. Um, look, at the end of the day, Miles Morales, he's a fine character. But, I mean, he's literally just... He he is... I mean, he is a knockoff Spider-Man. Like, like they all are. They all are just knockoff Spider-Men. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no place for them. But they've really pushed Miles Morales as the next Spider-Man. And it always fascinates me when they do stuff like that. Because they do it when they get, like, out of creative control of writing the primary character so peter parker for instance they obviously just lost what they were doing with that character so they're like i'll oh, we'll just create a new one whatever so they did uh, this will just happen to the same guy like this will just happen now to this uh character uh, it's just creative bankruptcy and i don't know whether people will respond massively to it because Mars Mar Mars Morales Spider Man sure fine whatever I'm, am i game for it yeah whatever i just think there's too many like, just calm it down a little bit, guys. Calm it down. You're, you're running before you can walk again. And Amy Pascal, as well, is the brainchild behind what was going to be an Aunt May spin-off movie. So, like I said, Notorious Crackhead. I mean, she's an idiot. Absolute moron. Um, but let me know what you think. They're just pushing this guy out more and more. Let me know what you think down below. Would you be game for this? Would you like it? Would you not? Let me know your thoughts. Hey, subscribe if you're new here. Give the video a like and a share. Cheers, guys. Take care.